Hi there, and welcome back to Kitten School. Meet five-year-old Abby. When she arrived at Kitten School, she had a severe skin allergy and was just covered with raw, oozing sores and had scratched a lot of her fur off. But with some simple and soothing home treatments, Abby is on her way to being itch-free. The shelter vet had determined that Abby was suffering from flea bite dermatitis, which is an allergic reaction to flea bites. So the first step in treatment was to get rid of the fleas using a topical flea prevention. Once that was done, Abby left the shelter and came to kitten school foster home for the rest of her recovery. Abby was given an oral antihistamine twice a day, which helped calm the inflamed skin and relieved some of the agonizing itching. She still really wanted to scratch and chew her sores, so she was fitted with an e-collar to keep her from tearing her skin up. Next, I made a mixture of witch hazel, a veterinary skin antiseptic gel, and some distilled water, and gently dabbed this on Abby's sores with a cloth. Witch hazel has a natural therapeutic quality that can help reduce swelling and irritation when used on the skin. The antiseptic gel prevents deeper sores from becoming infected. Abby loves having the solution applied and it seems to relieve a lot of her itching, so I use it several times a day. A couple of days later, we can see that Abby's sores are not nearly as red and inflamed as they were when she first arrived. Now that the fleas are gone and we've begun the skin soothing remedies, Abby's skin can finally start the healing process. Now it's time for the first of what will be Abby's three total baths over the next month. I massage in a mixture of coconut oil mixed with a couple of drops of baby shampoo, being careful not to rub too hard on her sore areas. And I wash out all the dried blood and crusty skin. We don't want to leave any soap residue on Abby, so she's rinsed thoroughly with lots of warm water. Like most cats, Abby isn't thrilled about getting a bath, but by the time she's dried, she's purring like a little engine. It must feel so good to be clean and have all that itchy, flaky skin washed off. Once she's dry, I dab on a little of the witch hazel solution to calm any inflammation. Just a week ago, Abby's skin was so inflamed that it was hot to the touch. She still looks like a plucked chicken, but now the open sores are drying up and we can see healthy skin starting to replace it. Once that happens, her fur will start to grow back too. Abby is such an incredibly sweet, gentle cat. She has never once tried to bite or scratch, even though I know there's been some times when she's been uncomfortable. She seems to understand that everything is being done for her benefit, and she rewards me with lots of purrs and cuddles. For me, it's an honor to help such a deserving kitty. Abby is only part of the way to full recovery, so be sure to check out part two to see more skin allergy remedies and Abby's amazing transformation. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button now and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now!